The D chromatic scale hands together contrary motion. When we play any chromatic scale, we are only allowed to use our third finger on the black keys. So an easy way to, to, to test how that's going to sound is when we play all the black keys with a third finger. sounds almost Chinese in nature. Now, when we play the dechromatic scale, we are going to start with our thumb on D. So we are going to use our thumb, our third finger, and sometimes our second finger. So we are not going to play with the fourth or fifth finger, only with our first, second and third finger. So when we play with our right hand, it's going to go like so. One, three, one, two, three. Let's just do that. One, three, one, two, three. Then, one, three, one, three, one, two, three, one. If we put it together in one fluid motion, one, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, one, two, three, one. When we come back down, <clears throat> we are going to play one, three, two, one, three, one. So it's important not to play three, one, three, one, two, three. We may not cross our second finger over our thumb. With our left hand, we are going to do exactly the same going down as we would do going up with our right hand. One, three, one, two, three, one, three. Because our hands are mirror images, when we play those hands together, contrary motion starting on D next to middle C for one octave, our left hand and right hand is going to do exactly the same. One, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, three, two, one, three. Now without counting a little bit faster, one, 